Here with Seattle Seahawks rookie wide receiver Jackson Smith and Jigba. Uh, JSN, do you, what, do you, what do your buddies call you? Do they call you JSN? Do they call you Jackson? Like what? Yeah, they call me Jax, JSN oh. most of the time. Okay. Yeah, but mainly Jax. All right, then Jax. I'm going to call you Jax. I've decided cool. you and I are friends. We've met for yeah. 30 seconds. <laughs> um, uh, Jax, uh, we, we've seen like whether it was Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson last year, you know, Justin Jefferson a couple years ago, Jamar Chase. We've seen rookie wide rookie wide receivers come into the NFL. Do you, do you feel any pressure because of the success of some of the guys that have come before you? And I, obviously, by the way, just Ohio State wide receivers just right. in general, right? I'm a Commanders fan, so Terry McLaurin's my guy. Yeah. So I'm just curious, do you, do you feel any pressure for that? Uh, I mean, most definitely. But, you know, like we say in Columbus, pressure is a privilege. Of just being in that room and seeing and being around guys that are an elite level and you want to live up to, to, you know, those standards. And I definitely do. Uh, so, yeah, it's a little bit of pressure, but it's a privilege, and I'm happy that I'm in this situation and, you know, get to uh, show my skill set and show that, you know, I belong. I, I love that phrase. I've never heard that before, but I love that pressure is a privilege. Yeah. And uh, pressure is a privilege because now you're going to Seattle where you're going to be lining up alongside Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf, two yeah. of the best in the NFL. So yeah. uh, have you had a chance to talk to either of those guys at all? Yeah, they've been out there. Uh, and uh, rookie training camp uh, and uh, talk to them a little bit uh, great guys and uh, excited to line up against them you know great talent you know in DK man uh, something I've never seen before so you know I'm glad he's on my team <laughs> right. and having the OG Tyler Lockett there that's been through it all and you know and, and still performing at a high level it's gonna be awesome to learn from those guys have they talked to you at all as, as coach Carroll or any of the you know the position coach anyone talk to you at all about what they expect out of your role, obviously, you know, I'd expect you to be the slot receiver uh, for the majority of the time there, but have they, have they talked to you at all about expectations this year? Yeah, I mean, they they don't want to put a ceiling on, you know, my expectations going in, you know, they're still trying to learn and figure, you know, stuff out, but I feel like they have a good uh, grasp of, you know, how they want me to be presented in this offense, um, you know, a chain mover, you like to say, and a big play guy, so. Um, having, you know, all three of us and, you know, a talented offense overall with Gino back there slinging the ball, you know, I'm, I'm sure we're going to mix, mix up the formations a lot and, you know, just try to be, you know, as dangerous as we can and utilize all everyone that we can. Yeah, I mean, I, obviously, rookie minicamp just starting. You just got to the team, but have you had a chance to talk to Gino at all? Did he did he text you on draft night? You know, have, uh, have you had a chance to talk to him at all? Yeah, he called me on draft night uh, when I got drafted. Ben, been talking to him uh, a little bit when I was uh, there in the facility. He started coming by and he started throwing the ball. And, you know, I I'm happy. I, I love that he loves to sling the ball, sling the rock, and he can. He has a great arm, you know, been in the league, a vet. So, you know, awesome um, to, you know, try to go under his wing and uh, learn and try to make his job uh, a little less uh, easier. Jax, have you ever played fantasy football? Yes, sir, I have. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How'd you do? I did all right. I did all right. It wasn't wasn't too good. It wasn't too bad. That's all right. Well, you're elite at fan at real life football, so you're yeah, allowed right. to be you're allowed to you're allowed to be just mediocre at fake football when you're <laughs> when you're elite at real football. Yeah. Um, when when did you play? Were you in college? Were high school? Yeah, or? I started in college. Our receiver group would have a fantasy football league, and then we'll all we'll all join that and you know get to it. Do you remember any of the guys on your team? Yeah, I remember uh, drafting um, Adam Thielen. I think uh, Dak Prescott was my quarterback. Derrick Henry was my running back, and I had a pretty solid team. Yeah, that, I was uh, just gonna say, year. like that's a that's yeah, a good yeah. core right I, there. Yeah, I had a pretty solid team. You know, they were doing their thing. Yeah, uh, I appreciate that. Have any of your have any of the guy? Are you gonna guys keep the league together this year? Have you guys talked about that at all? Uh, we haven't, but I'm sure we will. I mean, we we have to. I mean, I don't know. They they kicked me out the uh, Ohio State group message. So uh, I don't know. I'll just have to Wait, get back with those. Why guys. why'd they kick you out? Because I'm no longer. Because you're no longer there. You yeah. have to be in school. You, yeah. Once you're once you're done, you're. Yeah, you I need some new friends. It, it seems like. Oh uh, <laughs> well, I mean, there's there's a lot of great Ohio State players in the league. I'm sure you could right. form your own league. And then you could do is just like, all right, we're all just drafting ourselves. Right. Right. Why make, not? Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, Let's... Make make that a rule. Is there um, th there is a obviously there's a great uh, great core of. Ohio State players in the league. Is there is there anyone that you're that you're close to from your time at Ohio State that you've sort of talked to about like, hey, tell me what the the NFL experience is like? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, Chris Olave. Mm -hmm. um, we were training together a little bit uh, in Arizona together, so 
just, you know, always picking his brain ever since I came in Ohio State and now that we're in the NFL, it's surreal, but, you know, I, I'm happy that, you know, he's still here in my ear just giving me advice whenever I need to. And Garrett Wilson's also a good friend of mine. So, you know, having those two, you know, that, that have, you know, had great success already early, um, looking forward to, you know, meeting that standard as well. Yeah, I mean, listen, I mean, Olave, Wilson, like I said, McLaurin's my guy just because, yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, scary a few years Terry. back, scary Terry, but uh, uh, so it is. There's a, the uh, pressure is a privilege to, to live up to the, uh, to all the success of Ohio State wide receivers in the NFL. So, um, listen, JSN Jax, yes, sir. wish you a lot of luck, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate yes, you. Sir. Thank Have you. Have a great season. Appreciate it. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotoworld, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.